Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today a new beta release of the WLED software. So today we're going to be looking at 0.14.0-beta5 and we're going to try and have a look at this effect blending that seems to be added. So we're going to have a look at that and we're also going to have a look at some segments as well. So I'm using a ESP8266 as normal and you can see my ESP8266 is already running. So we're going to select and download the correct file and we're going to hit update and we're going to wait for it to update. Okay, it's rebooted, switch the power on. You can see my three panels aren't equal, should we say. There must be a different manufacturer of the LEDs. But we switched it on and we seem to have all the segments or all the LEDs lit up. It's responding to color changes, responding to brightness. So that's a good start. So let's try a couple of effects, see whether we need to change anything. And things aren't working quite as what we expected, so we'll just check. Make sure our LED count is correct. Make sure our 2D configuration is correct, which we've already set up. If you're interested on in how to do that, check out my previous videos. So let's put some scrolling text in. So we select scrolling text some text actually into the segment and there we go so our scrolling text is working so we'll have a look at this new rolling balls and I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be like that but ripple always looks good I'm not sure about this rolling balls whether that's normal or not every other effect seems to be working correctly That's a really good effect, the ripple. So we'll just have a quick scroll down and just try some other ones. That's all working nicely. That one's a bit bright for the camera. But yeah, all seems to be working. So we're going to have a play with segments. See what we can do with that. So you can see here I've got two segments segment on the left says microchips and the segment on the right says buy me a coffee so that's interesting if it was on a bigger um, length of LED panel so let's try and add some effects instead of the text and there we have it obviously you have to split the segments up so you can see we've got start and stop on each one of those segments which corresponds to the start and stop of the LEDs you want to use. So we've still got the scrolling text on the left and we've got now, well we're now controlling the segment on the right and changing its effects. Excellent. So let's try three. So for this, we're going to need three segments. So we'll try this and see what happens. So there we have three segments now. So we've got our scrolling text in the middle and we've got our two effects either side. So we've split those LEDs up into three pieces and now we should be able to control each one of those segments individually by selecting them and changing the effect or changing the text in them so on a larger panel this would look absolutely fantastic so now we're happy with that we're now going to try some presets Let's see if we can do something with that so yeah that's a good um, good effect so let's try some presets so I've got two presets loaded in. 
and all we need to do is we just need to add preset on the um, effect we want. So we select a effect, select add preset, and OK it, and select the segment we want it tied to as well. And fingers crossed, we should be able to change uh, the segments now with the presets, and depending on which segment is active and depending on which effect. Let's try it. So as you can see, the, um, the segments now activate on the presets and the light or the LEDs change accordingly. Very nice. So again, we've got effects on the left and right and we've got scrolling text in the middle. And each one of these presets is now selecting each one of the segments. So there's a better view of the two segments that we had. So if you had a really long LED panel, and I suppose a ESP32, because I think the ESP8266 will start to get a bit restricted with all this information. But even so, this is very, very versatile now. So there's our three which we've split up again with effects on the left and right and scrolling text in the middle very nice so we've just gone back to a single segment there so the easiest way to clear this is just we click on clear segments and it resets everything back to normal so we'll just have a look through some of the effects we've got and as you can see, as we select each one of the effects, we get the effect fading. So it fades between each one of the effects, which is a new feature for this, which is very nice. So I suppose if you have some form of programmed sequence, this would now blend seamlessly. So all in all, an excellent release. The GUI seems to be as responsive as normal. No problems with that. And no problems with anything that I can find at the moment. But only time will tell. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this short video on the latest beta release of WLED Beta 5 of the 0 0.14 um, series if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe buy me a coffee join patreon all that sort of stuff and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video